All right, boys, so we got our butter, rosemary, and a little bit of olive oil going right there. I got the pink salt ready to go. Also got our porterhouse steak here. That's the brand, good chop. So we got the uh, grill preheating really quickly. It's only got two of these burners on. That's all I need. It's probably gonna be yay big. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and slap it on there, throw on that butter, that oil, and uh, hopefully it comes out pretty good. Also guys, I do wanna make it clear that I am not a professional at making meat or cooking meat. This is just me doing this for fun and obviously trying out different types of meats and learning as I go. So let's open her up and uh, let's get this uh, steak prepped. All right, let's get our butter going over here. Let me turn on this flash. Golly, that looks delicious. Now guys, it is pretty hard to record with one hand and do stuff with the other, but I'm trying my best here. So we're just gonna go ahead and just coat it nice and easy. We're gonna put a nice layer of salt, sea salt to be exact. There you go. That looks pretty good, get the edges. All right, let's go ahead and slap some salt on there. Nice thick layer. Now we're, let's go ahead and flip this over and repeat it on the other side. So get some of that butter with that rosemary. Oh, get in that crack right there. Make sure to get the edges. Again, I'm not calling myself a professional steak or meat cooker. This is just for fun, strictly for fun. I'm trying out these different meats, seeing which one I like the best. And uh, yeah, just a beginner here, enjoying some meat. So if you guys have any pointers, you guys can leave it down in the comment section below. Obviously, I love criticism. You know, if I'm doing mistakes, that's how you learn. And obviously, if somebody knows and has more knowledge than you, then it's always best to take in and soak in that knowledge. The more the merrier. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and soak it all up in there. Pretty much just used up all of it. And that should be good. Now, let's go ahead and cover it in a layer of sea salt. Nice thick layer. That looks good. Now let's tuck it in a little bit more in the back where it gets nice and hot. And then we're gonna cover it up. We got it on low heat. Just gonna let it sit there for a couple minutes and then we're gonna come back and check on it, okay? Let's close this up. All right guys, so I've been gone for about 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and flip it over, see what it's looking like. Oh, that is beautiful. Looks a little raw out in the outer edges. But I'm pretty sure if we cover it up, it's going to look good. All right, so that looks pretty damn good. We're going to come back in about 10 minutes and check on it again. As for the outer edges looking a little raw, I think by closing it, it should fix our problem. All right, guys, so it should be almost done. I'm going to let it sit for a few more minutes. But it looks pretty good. Um, just so you guys know, I don't like my steak having any type of pink or showing any type of pink. I like my steak well done. It pretty much indicates to me it's just raw. And if you want to eat it raw, just don't even cook it. I'm <laughs> just kidding. All right, y'all. It's time to take it out of here. I'm really hoping it's good. It's still got some blood on there. Uh, I think I'm just going to cut it open a little bit just to double check that it's okay. If it's not okay, I'm going to put it back in the grill. Okay, how does that look? Yeah, see, no. Good thing I cut it. Look at that. I'm not eating that. Around the bone. I think I'm going to leave the bone in there and let it cook so I can eat that. This is 
This is pretty much almost done. This doesn't look bad. All right, so we got the pieces back in here. Again, I am no meat or beef expert, so this is exactly how I'm gonna cook it. That side is very, very pink. This side is not too bad. Doesn't look too bad. And then this is obviously really pink, so. I wanna eat the rest of that meat off that bone, so I'm gonna let that cook. I'm gonna let these cook for a few minutes, then I'm gonna flip them over, and then uh, we should be good to go. But yeah, no pink whatsoever. I don't like that at all. Ladies and gentlemen, taste test time. I know you guys see that little bit of pink there, but it's okay, as long as it's a little bit, not too much. Check that out. Oh, oh, oh yes, sir. Let's flip this camera around. So tender. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, as y'all can see, I'm laying down in my bed, finished up the porterhouse steak all to myself. Actually, I gave some to my dad and my mom to try, but pretty much I finished it myself, so. Uh, took a quick little 30 minute nap feel very energized feel very good it's close to 10 p.m though so it's almost my bedtime i'm uh, gonna take some ashwagandha to call it a night and i'm also gonna take some pills some vitamins that i take and yeah it's pretty much gonna conclude the night if i can't go to sleep i'll probably smash some melatonin gummies uh, but yeah, other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed it, smash the like button down below. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. We are nearing 6,000 subscribers. That is an insane amount of subscribers and people that are following me. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you very, very much for following me, following along the journey. Uh, but anyways, guys, this is going to wrap up the video. Like I said, I'm going to do all that, and I'm going to take my ass to sleep. Anyways, thank you all so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, my hop.